You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Good day to you, sir. It certainly is. It's a, it's a big day. You know, I'm not even sure how to how to approach this because this is, you know, it's it's crazy. Oh, what's that? Well, I normally start out, here's a few, like, famous, like, birthday people over the yeah. years, but uh, it's, nothing holds a candle to us. It's, it's Heidi's birthday Yay! today! <laughs> yes, it, it is. is. Heidi's birthday today. <laughs> Later today, we're going on Heidi's birthday adventure, and she has no idea where we're going, Dan. There's a lot going on, but what really makes me, and by the way, happy birthday. Thank you so much. Heidi was, uh, you know, just ordained. She was go bored, and God looked down and said, you know what? This this child is going to grow up to be a notary. Yes, <laughs> exactly what happened. And I tell you what, uh, that's exactly how it she turned has not out. let anyone down in that department. No, she is not. But on the same token, I mean, you know, it's not all glitter, rainbows, and unicorns. I mean, heavy is the head that wears the notary crown. <laughs> <laughs> So just love and respect, Heidi. It's, it's Thank a big you. Deal. I appreciate that. And boy, meaning no disrespect, but uh, who do you share a birthday with today? Other famous people. Who? There are some greats. Pee Wee Herman is 68. I love Pee Wee Herman. Nice. <laughs> I just do. And the man that actually was used as the model for some great movie classic characters over the years, including Norman Bates. Oh. Ah. Based on this gentleman and also the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, you know him, you love him. From the great town of La Crosse, Wisconsin, a serial killer, Ed Gein. Wow. Oh. Fascinating story, actually, about <laughs> huh. Ed. Go get busy digging up graves. <laughs> 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 he was a handyman by trade and he'd like make stuff, hmm. which, which was nice. Makes stuff out of. <laughs> Out of people parts. <laughs> hey, you like my new lamp? Gee, Ed, not really. Yeah, it's, it's very <laughs> nice. Not be putting that on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> so, happy birthday to uh, to those folks. And then just uh, one note here, just because you know, I'm I'm a home. I'm a fanboy. It was this day in 1958. Washington Senators, Major League Baseball team back then. Washington Senators. Then team owner Clark Griffin announces to the press that mm, they're probably going to accept an offer to have that team move to Minnesota. Mm. Oh. Well, they did. Call it. The Twins? Yes, John. <laughs> See, How I you know don't something. do a sports cast is beyond <laughs> I'm me. I'm going to start my own sports <laughs> podcast. I, I'm going to. And, of course, his kid uh, Cal took over. is probably the cheapest owner in the history of the major leagues. And uh, Is that the just, one who they just, like, removed his statue? Uh, I think they pulled Cal for some reason or whatever. It doesn't, hmm. doesn't matter. So, yeah, that's what's going on. But, again, a happy birthday to, uh, to Heidi. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Thanks for up, listening. Uh, we've set up a GoFundMe page just because, <laughs> well, Heidi likes to buy stuff. So. Yes, she does. <laughs> Indeed, yes, she I does. do. Heidi needs some new, one of those air fryers, so <laughs> get that dough rolling. Let's go. <laughs> it's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? <laughs> Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies, to see what they have to offer, all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm roof tough and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Well, top of the morning to you two little lovebirds. You, Mel, you're looking good. Heidi. Ranger Dan. I heard when I was waiting in the green room there, 
getting my fruit smoothie on that uh, you got a birthday today. I do. Oh, happy birthday to you. Thank you. you. What happy, 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 happy birthday. Way to get born there, darling. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, no secret. I am a little sweet on you. In fact, uh, pretty much the only way I'd, I'd dig you more is if you were me. <laughs> <laughs> so Heidi was born on this day, and you know that that got me to thinking. When it comes to you know the world of critters, they give you know they lay eggs, and sometimes is born live, and sometimes this and that. But the critter world can be pretty weird when it comes to births. And this one hits kind of close to home. I did a little digging. Now there is a zoo in Omaha. Yeah, it's called the Henry Henry Dorley Zoo. Which, after some research, that is uh, named after a man named Henry Dorley. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you didn't spend a lot of time on that. <laughs> but this little deal, it was back in 1999. Okay. And I mean, it made not just national, but international news. And it got all all kinds of of, uh, of uh, animal, like, scientist people all involved. With these. They were like, what the? <laughs> Every one of them were, what the? And some of them was, what the bleep? What? <laughs> What in the, what in the, 1999 at the Henry Dorley Zoo, which is a zoo in Omaha named after Henry, and I think we covered that right. part, a hammerhead shark gave birth. Well, so what? You're probably right. Thinking. Well, that female hammerhead shark was alone in that tank and had been for about three years. There was no male oh. shark anywhere near. That is a virgin birth of a hammerhead oh, shark my in goodness. 1999. How did that happen? How the heck would I know? Oh. <laughs> I wasn't accusing you. I'm just There are just theories on the whole darn thing actually, but apparently there's some uh, some animals that can do that kind of thing and that hit close to home to me. I don't share a lot about my personal life because my personal life is really nobody's business, but I saw that story and I thought I'd share this just a little bit. It was back in the 1980s and this was before I was a ranger. I had signed up for the French Foreign Legion. Oh, really? And I'd also just gotten married to my Russian mail order bride, Ranger Wife. Nice. Now, as part of my Legionnaire duties, I had to immediately spend a little over a year in Sisset in South Dakota <laughs> learning the ways of the French Foreign Legion. Oh, wow. Ranger Wife opted to stay in Fort Pier. Hmm. I'd put together a cute little stick and tarpaulin, too, right out behind the Valley Tap. <laughs> Very nice. I got to be honest, it was a it was a tough slog. It was a grind being apart from my brand new spanking ranger wife for all those months. So it was dang exciting to see her again and even more exciting that <laughs> she was with child. Oh. Yep, hadn't seen her in over a year. Miracle <laughs> stuff right there. So ranger daughter, well, she's all grown up now, and except for looking strikingly like that Larry Pressler fella. She's... <laughs> Doing great. She skippers a tuna boat out of Juneau, Alaska, right off the coast of West Texas. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have today, little Radio Rangers. I hope you learned something. I know. I'm baffled by the whole darn thing. Till next time, this is Ranger Dan. Oh, say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes, and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you by Lukewarm Tap Water. Mm. Tap water. <laughs> this is, I stumble across this stuff, and, and sometimes you just kind of go, mm, yeah, I kind of knew that, but other times you go, whoa, that's pretty weird. From the good folks at MSN, their financial money department, they've cobbled together what they feel, based on various criteria, are the worst cities in every state. Oh, okay. no. The United States of America. Who wants to be named that? Uh, I would nobody. guess nobody. Now, keep in mind the criteria for naming the worst cities. This is based on uh, primarily incomes, home values, unemployment rates over the past five years, poverty rates, and amenities like restaurants, uh, gyms, grocery stores, all that kind of stuff, recreational opportunities and, and whatnot. Boiled it down to, uh, you know, our just neck of the woods here. So, 
in Iowa. What would you think? Because you get, I know Heidi, you're kind of familiar mm. with the state of Iowa. There the worst city? The worst city, according it, to these folks, based on the criteria that I mentioned. Oh, gosh, I wouldn't even begin to. I know several people right now are shouting at their radio, Sioux City. It's uh, Denison. Oh, oh. Wow. That's not too far from where Heidi grew up. Denison, Iowa. KDSN, it's a radio station. Now, this one, it was a long time ago, but I used to actually go fishing up here. I had a, a good friend of mine, his parents actually owned owned a cabin on a lake in Cloquet, Minnesota. Really? It's about 20 miles west of uh, Duluth. So, huh, okay. Yeah, I always liked it up there, but then, you know, I didn't have to work there or live there. So. Right. Yeah, that's true. There you go. Now, Nebraska. What do you think? Again, you guys are kind oh of familiar with Nebraska. I'm really not um, that familiar with. Okay. I mean, Western I lived part, there for a while, uh, but. Western part of the state, a town called Alliance. Oh, yeah. Okay. Huh. And in North Dakota, Minot. Wow. Okay. This is the one that got me because now we're, we're home in it here in South Dakota. Take, take a guess. Worst city, according to people who put this together. Why are you guys both looking at me? You think it's Huron, don't you? Because it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's my hometown. John's hometown. He left it in ruins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a sign up. Voted worst city in the state yeah. of South Dakota. Because John ran off with all the loot. <laughs> this kind of stuns me. They are saying it. I, boy, according to this, Huron is... Is riding a twenty one point six percent of residents live below the poverty line. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I wouldn't that. doubt that at all. Holy cats! But the unemployment rate is minimal. Yeah. Like everybody's working, but okay. Just not not making, making a lot. much. All right, and keep in mind, I didn't put this together. So. Right. Don't be mad at Dan. But yeah, you know, I was really surprised when I came across here. I went, "What? Huh? That is very surprising." Yeah. So that's what I got. Although. Uh, the most surprising thing on that list is probably that Sioux City was not on the list. <laughs> no, Just the, kidding, Sioux but City. But there was we also a little yet. caveat when I was reading the information on Huron. Yeah. And it did say, keep in mind, every city in South Dakota is doing just fine. But right. they had to pick one. Yeah. Right. So they're not really bombing on Huron. They're going, eh, it's still fine. It's not like, Right, you know. right. We're on the radio in Huron right now. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Dan, thank you for that, sir. Yeah, boy, I had a blast. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine and Sioux Falls. And I've got Marilyn Buskell joining me from AAA South Dakota. How are you doing, Marilyn? I'm doing well. Now, How are you? We, I'm fantastic. Today is the first day of school in the Sioux Falls School District, and you've got all kinds of little tips and tricks up your sleeve to help people make it a better day, don't you? Absolutely. Well, things are going to look a little different this year with, um, with COVID, and there's going to be probably more kids biking or walking or parents dropping off kids versus riding on the bus, um, you know, just for social distancing purposes. So we just wanted to really make sure that your listeners, you know, were watching out for kids. Um, Just be, you know, keep track of the time. And if you're going to be in a residential area or driving by a school, um, you know, between 7 and 8, just, just be sure to watch out for kids, you know, running across the street or, and please don't drive distracted. Yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> there's a, a changing traffic patterns. you know, we just need to slow down and be cognizant of um, kids, you know, either biking or walking or being dropped off by their parents. Cool. And when when kids are heading to school, this is a uh, you know it's a time that a lot of things change. So in addition to schedules changing, uh, it's also a, a, a time for people to just be aware as you're out on the roads. Yeah, and the other thing to kind of keep in mind: kids haven't been in school for six months, so this is unlike any other year that that kids have had, where they might have 
you know, understood traffic rules and just, you know, be watching for traffic and that kind of thing. But with everything else going on right now, um, that might have slipped. So we just want to encourage parents to make sure you you talk to your child about, you know, watching for cars and not darting out and, um, you know, bicycle safety tips, you know, make sure your, your child has the skills necessary to ride their bike and signal if they're going to make a turn, that kind of thing. And, of course, we would love it for the kids to be the ones that are being careful and cautious while they're on their way to school. But sometimes if they get distracted, it'd be pretty darn easy for them to step out. So that's where it's important for drivers to be very cautious as well. Yes. And, you know, South Dakota does have a school bus stopping law where if you're coming from either direction, you must stop when you see the red signal light displayed on a school bus. So it's another thing to be mindful of just watch your school buses stopping and letting students off at the school absolutely and you would think with the school buses being as big as they are and as brightly colored as they are that that we would never ever have to worry about somebody bumping into one of those but i'm reading here that last year alone there were 69 school bus crashes which is kind of a crazy number it is and it is just really important that if the school bus is stopped and there's flashing red lights, that means that kids are either getting on the bus or they're getting off the bus. Well, so you should, you, you're stopped about 15 feet you know, behind the well, bus. We are going to encourage people to be aware as you're out and about today. Marilyn, thank you very much for taking the time to chat with us. Marilyn is with AAA South Dakota. You guys do all kinds of cool stuff throughout the year, don't you? Well, we really do, and we're really we really want to, um, you know, be preaching uh, about being safe because um, with everything else going on, if we can avoid an incident or an accident or, you know, being involved in an accident, um, that's what we're all about. Well, thank you for doing what you do, and thank you for taking the time to chat with us today. You bet. Again, Marilyn Buskell, and she is with AAA South Dakota. Today is the first day back to school for a lot of kiddos around South Dakota and right here in Sioux Falls. So so as you're heading to work this morning, be careful, be cautious, and keep an eye out for those kiddos. Thanks for listening to today's Bright Spot of News, brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at marketbeatminute.com. That's marketbeatminute.com. And it's time right now for entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Because celebrities are fabulous. fabulous. And to prove it, they'll breed and name their children things you would never think of in a million years. <laughs> that is true. Ah, you know, this is close to home here because it has to do with celebrity, it has to do with entertainment, it has to do with movies. The largest movie theater in Sioux Falls just opened. The other day, yeah. finally, the Century Stadium 14 and XD, uh, they've started showing movies in the afternoon with some new releases and also several classics from years gone by. Yeah. Some special pricing. The second run movies, uh, reduced ticket price for a limited time, three bucks for kids, five bucks for adults. That's not so but bad. here's the skinny. Now, the Century East at Dolly Farms, the other big movie complex in, in Sioux Falls, is scheduled to open uh, tomorrow, actually. All mm-hmm. right. If you want to go back to the movies, there's been some changes, and yeah, here's what course. to expect. All right. Face masks are required, mm-hmm. but moviegoers can remove them while eating or drinking inside the auditorium. Well, derf. Capacity in each auditorium <laughs> is reduced. Derf? <laughs> well, what? Well, derf. <laughs> derf. Uh, as tickets are purchased, adjacent seats are automatically blocked. Oh, wow. Okay, so you are encouraged to buy tickets online. They're staggering the show times to allow time for moviegoers to exit and prevent overcrowding in the lobby and the hallways. They and, should just keep that. That's a good idea. And the restrooms also gives employees more time to clean, sanitize areas between movies. So that makes That's a sense. good idea all the time. Let's keep that. 
and this is totally the deal breaker for me. Cash cannot be used for concession purchases. I never use cash anyway. That's all I use. Oh. Nope, you're going to have to have uh, contactless pay for tickets and okay. for snacks. Contactless, I see. That's where you use your card. You now, and, yeah. yourself. and we actually did this at West Mall a few years back. Uh, you can rent an entire theater if you'd like to. You we certainly do can. That. For your own private watch party. How much is it, does it say? Ooh, let me see here. It's 500 bucks at the uh, West Mall. You know what? It's not bad. You can rent one of the theaters, like 150 bucks for a new release and just 100 bucks for, for a classic movie so for a hundred dollars we can have the whole theater to ourselves it's up for 20 guests oh my goodness but you break out 150 bucks 20 ways that's hey, it's whatever. heidi's birthday today let's can we still do this <laughs> let's do it Probably not today i want to do this and also if you do that you will get reduced uh, concession stand prices too so. so you can get M and M's for like ninety three dollars a box. <laughs> yeah. So uh, be aware if uh, if you're a movie freak, you want to get back. There are some changes, and you got to kind of dance to a little different beat. And huh. there you go. But it's nice that they're reopening. So that is very cool. Huh. Dan, thank you for that update. Absolutely. That was very informative. I learned something again today. Which is, <laughs> Dan which is loves it. You know, if you pay that. attention, you learn something every day, John. <laughs> but I mean, but I you learned, choose not to. I learned something good today. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you by Lukewarm Tap Water. Mm, tap, tap water. If you have a credit card, we'd like to help you make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to bettercreditcards.com to see if we can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. If you don't have a credit card right now, you can check us out, too, at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, August 27, 2020. Market momentum increased on Wednesday after stronger-than-expected durable goods data. Orders of new durable goods were expected to rise by 5% and more than doubled that at 11.2%. The news paints a picture in line with other data suggesting a strong and sustainable economic recovery is well underway. The broad market S&P 500 advanced more than 1% with strength in the tech sector leading the way. The tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite advanced more than 1.5% for the day in a move that is quickly becoming parabolic. With easy money policy expected to linger for many years and the economic rebound gaining strength, investors should expect to see more new highs in the very near future. Friday's data could add more fuel to the fire when the personal income and spending data for July is released. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at MarketBeatMinute.com.